More now on our top story. Radu Dragashin is travelling to Tottenham for a medical ahead of a move from Genoa. Let's bring you some more information on this deal and speak to Italian football expert Mina Razuki. Mina, great to see you again. Tottenham fans very keen to find out more about their uh, new defender. What qualities makes him stand out? But also, does he have any weaknesses? Well, I think let's start off with the good stuff. <laughs> it's great to see you all again. Uh, Dragosin is, is, an, is an interesting character because straight away when he was at Juventus, one thing that Andrea Pirlo, who gave him his debut, noticed was his size. He's just immense. He's so tall. He's got great physique. Um, really difficult to, to try to win a duel against him. I mean, he owns everything on an aerial level. Uh, he's very strong and um, aggressive in his type of, of defending, to be honest with you. And I think that's one thing that is really shown for him. Andrea Pirlo decided at the time that he wanted him to train with the other players to improve his technicality. And I think now what you see in Genoa is that he is, he is better on the ball. He's not a ball-playing defender. He's not somebody who's going to progress the ball on his own at the back. But he delivers a great long pass. He is immense, like I said, when it comes to winning duels. But it's also very difficult to dribble past him. And I think that's something to, to note as well. He's not super fast, but fast enough to, to try to catch up. And I think that he is somebody who is always going to be difficult to beat in set pieces. He loves to score a goal. He scored the equaliser against Inter to ensure that he got a point for Genoa against the best team in Italy, which is something to note. But one thing is that everybody I've spoken to in Italy who's ever watched or worked with Dragosin has told me, one, his size, but secondly, and most importantly, his character. Everyone talks about his exemplary professionalism, how hard he works, how good he is, how much he is willing to learn and to improve. And that's so rare to find these days when it, when it comes to a lot of these players because he understands what it takes to be the best and he's working every day to try to improve all the skills he has, but still needs to improve on the ball. Mina, good to hear from you as always. Uh, how's he been performing in Serie A this season? He's been excellent. Um, I think that he is one of one of the players that has stood out for Genoa in general. Again, largely because of his size and because of, of how good they've been as a team um, under Gilardino. I think one thing to note is that they play a little bit differently to perhaps, uh, well, perhaps Tottenham. They are a team that don't want to keep possession. They want to strike you uh, on the counter-attack and take their chances then. Um, he has been one of the standout performers alongside Frent. And I think that uh, when you asked Gilardino about him, he didn't want to speak about it because he thought that it would distract his team. But uh, he did say that he is an exemplary professional and that I'm sure he's going to be sad to let him go. Hi, Mina. Um, can you tell us a bit about his background and where he comes from? Yeah, this is a great story, actually, because he, uh, he made his debut in the Champions League against uh, Dynamo Kiev. Now, at the time, of course, his family couldn't, uh, couldn't come and watch him and cheer him on from the sidelines because it was COVID in 2020. And it was Champions League uh, group stage match, and he came on for Demiral, who had just been substituted off. Now, as fate would have it, he, him being a Romanian player, he was playing against the most highly decorated Romanian coach in Mircea Lucescu. And it was great to have him uh, manage to, to have his debut against one of the greatest coaches of all time in his country. And you found them uh, talking on the sidelines. Um, Paratici, who was at the time uh, the sporting director of Juventus, was a big fan of his, as was Andrea Pirlo, who, had, who was initially hired at Juventus to be the under-23 coach. Dragosin was part of the under-23 team for Juventus, the reserve team, if you like. He immediately spotted Dragosin alongside a few other players, noted his strength and thought, I'm going to take this guy with me to the senior team because I think he could be something special. He didn't end up playing that many games, but that debut was a, was a big deal for him um, at the time. His mother couldn't go and watch him. She said that she was screaming at, house, at, at home when she was watching her son make his debut. They were running around the house, her and uh, his sister celebrating. He comes from a big sporting family. His mother represented Romania in basketball. His father is a volleyball player. And his sister also played basketball, but she doesn't do so anymore. So it's in the genes, if you like. He's somebody who's grown up understanding sporting discipline and then made his way along to Sampdoria, Salernitana, and eventually at Genoa, where he played last season almost every single game on almost every single minute. It's incredible to see the stats that he managed last season. Second best defense in Serie B, and that's why they were promoted.
Sounds like he comes from good pedigree, Mina. Um, we, we hear that he chose Tottenham over Bayern. Is that anything to do with style of football or is it more to do with something you talked about earlier, his character? You know, he, he gave his word to Tottenham. He's not been blown away by the bright lights of Bayern and wanting to sign for them. So why do you think he's chosen Tottenham over Bayern? Well, his agent said that he couldn't believe he turned down Bayern, um, but that uh, this is something to note about Drago and is that he did give his word to Ange and he was going to make sure that he honoured that word. That is exactly, like you said, part of his character. But also he has spoken about the fact that he follows the Premier League closely. It's the, cl it's the uh, league that he's always wanted to join and he absolutely loves it. So he always envisioned himself to be playing in the Premier League. He thought it would suit his skills perfectly. Also, I think it has a lot to do as well with, um, I mean, people will talk about style of play. I don't think that matters to him as much as I think it matters the character of the coach. One thing, he, he did an interview and he spoke about how grateful he was that Andrea Pilo gave him his debut and how much he loved him as a coach. And one of the reasons that he stood out to him was because he knew he was a great player, but the way that he approached the dressing room was so calm. And he, he was never an authoritarian who shouted and screamed at his players, but somebody who just commanded respect, who spoke softly, who was encouraging and motivating. And he found that very, very exciting to work with. He wanted to please him. He wanted to do the best for him. And I think he's found that as well now at Genoa. And so he is, he is a professional. He doesn't need you to be shouting at him. He wants to work for somebody who can inspire the team. Um, and I think that he has found that because it is important for him to develop relationships. He's very loved in the dressing room, wherever he has been. And I think that if he has spoken to the coach, then he's going to definitely be honouring his word. Mina, the Tottenham fans will be very happy about this signing, having heard from you yeah. there. Thank you very much. Thank you.